my lovelies and welcome back. Today I actually wanted to talk about some new products that I've purchased. These are coming from little independent companies. Um, two of them are from, well, they're both basically from the States and one of them is actually from Sephora. So lately I've been getting into more um, matte lips and liquid lipsticks and just kind of different unique textures and formulations and colors. And the first company I actually wanted to talk to you about was called Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. So they're based in Florida and you buy them online and primarily a liquid lipstick company. And they are a little bit alternative in the sense that their colors aren't your everyday nudes and roses and so forth, but they have some really great, interesting, fun colors. They have a beautiful red, it's called Zombetti. They have a black called Black Cat. So without further ado, I'm going to show you these two from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. So the first one is called Potion Number no. 9, and this is what it looks like. It's described as a pastel purple, and while when I take pictures of me in it, it looks like I it looks pastel, it wasn't when I actually put it on my lips. It is more of a it almost looks like I'm like a neon light purple. And while it's pretty, it's not what I thought I was getting. So sometimes you gotta be careful when you online shop because the swatch that is shown isn't necessarily what you're going to get. So just make sure you're fully aware of that and you're open to discrepancies. But anyway, so this one is really lovely. Uh, as the formulation goes, it goes on wet. I would say you need to let it dry uh, for about 90 seconds before you like press your lips together or what have you. When you uh, put it on, it's very opaque. You don't need to layer it and layer it layer it. If you want to, go right ahead. Lasting time, I think um, it's pretty good. Um, I haven't been able to wear it for a long period of time because uh, when I had it on I was going to be eating something and it was pretty kind of greasy so it doesn't really hold up to oils but um, it doesn't dry out the lips which is really lovely and I don't know if I can get a good but anyway that's the color there and it's pretty true to what's showing up on camera as to kind of how it goes on so this is it right here and the cute little pinup zombie girl so the next one uh, from the same company is called Three Witches and I was really excited about this one. This is a beautiful deep dark blue based purple and here it is right here. It's stunning. So on the, and that's how it shows up on the lips. It gets really really beautiful and I'm very happy with both of these and I might actually go back for more. The only problem I have is that the shipping took quite a while. It took probably... I want to say about 22, 24 days um, without really the customer um, confirmation or anything like that. I didn't hear much in the way of emails, whereas the products themselves are fantastic. It's a little upstart company, so there's got to be some leeway and the turnaround time with these kind of independent is going to be longer. So with that in mind, just keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway. So, the next one, uh, it's not an independent company, however, it is new to me and I haven't tried a lot of her products, I've been just slowly trying some Kat Von D. And this one is called a Vampira and it's a liquid lipstick and it's called Everlasting Liquid Lip, I think it is, or Liquid Lipstick, whatever. It's the same idea in terms it goes on wet and then it dries to a nice matte finish. This one is a nice deep dark burgundy, if you want to kind of vamp it up. It almost looks like it has a gold undertone to it and a brown kind of undertone, but for the most part it's a nice red, deep red, and it's, it's beautiful on, and the palest of girls can wear it, and the darkest of skins in ebony can wear it as well. And it's just beautiful. I love like the filigree and roses and all that that accompanies most of her packaging, so I really quite like it. And it's about the same idea in terms of lasting power and eating. Um, if you're eating something kind of oily, it may not stay. But other than that, they're really good. So the final company I want to talk about is a company that's based out of Portland, Oregon. And it's called Portland Black Lipstick Company. And Kim is the proprietress uh, that has this company. And 
it's a great little one and I became aware of it when I was searching for kind of alternative colors, unique, I went on Etsy and that's when I became aware of this one and then I kind of, of course with further research on YouTube and Google and all that made me realize how good of a little company this this is and I like it because it's it doesn't take itself too seriously and the packaging is kind of a little neo-victorian and it's a little bit nerdy chic is what I like it liking it too. Anyway, um, the first color I'm going to show you is called Black Lagoon and I'm going to have swatches um, of both the Pretty Zombie Kat Von D as well as the Portland Black Lipstick Company um, on my lips and I'll have to insert them. So this one's called Black Lagoon. This is the packaging here. So it comes in like a little chapstick, uh, lip balm kind of container. Some people may like that, some may not. Um, and this one is a metallic green and it's a blackened kind of metallic. It goes on creamy, it's opaque. You may need a few kind of passes through. And the one thing it does have is peppermint oil, so just be forewarned. Some people are a little sensitive to it, but it, what it does, it doesn't kind of make your lips tingle, and it doesn't plump them up or anything like that. So this is really nice. And I think these were, I want to say tw $12, 12 each, and 9 or 12, I can't remember. And the Pretty Zombie ones were, I believe, 12 as well, plus shipping. <clears throat> this next one is called Indigo Bridge and it is a blackened blue color and again with a metallic kind of finish to it and the third one that I purchased is called Pewter Cauldron and the way it it describes this color as a duct tape kind of color which is a very good description because that's exactly what it is it has again that little bit of metallic sheen What's unique about this company, and um, I should say unique to independent uh, kind of companies, they do offer samples, a majority of them, that is. And uh, this company in particular has like little sagittal kind of cuts of lipstick. And these look kind of smushy, but uh, this is me using them. So this one uh, I purchased is called Chai Borg, and it's like $2, you get it, like, you know, pretty pretty good sample that's going to last me quite a while to be honest and this one um it's kind of like a milky like it's like a coffee kind of color but with uh, a gray silvery kind of shimmer within it um which is kind of a neat it's a very futuristic kind of looking and that's chai borg they've got cute names too i have to say uh the second one that i purchased is called artificial amethyst and it's a beautiful, I didn't expect the color on my lips to be the color. Uh, in the packaging, it has more of a reddy kind of tone. And so that's what I was expecting. On my lips, it shows up more as a black and purple, which is pretty cool. Now, the one thing with artificial amethyst and a, some of these colors, they have carm carmine, carmina, anyway, it's the beetle, <laughs> the crushed beetle to get that kind of color. And so some people can be very, very sensitive to it. And Kim was lovely enough to include an email that said, FYI, just so you know, that you might uh, be a little bit allergic. So I haven't had any reaction, I haven't had any issues. So this is a beautiful, beautiful color too. It has, again, that metallic kind of finish. The two that came with the actual order that Kim kind of threw in there for me. Uh, one was called the Purple Cloud, and it's a kind of, it's a pastel lavender color. And this is more of a creamy, less, and there's no really metallic sheen to it. And this is great if you're looking for that, um, that pastel lavender. If you can't get your whole, can't get your hands on any of the, the NY, or the NYX macarons, uh, <laughs> this might be a nice alternative. The other one that she sent was called Grey, and that's, uh, it's a past, it's a light grey colour. It's, um, I have to say this is a little bit harder to wear, um, unlike the, the Pewter Cauldron, which is very easy because it's a little bit darker, deeper grey. Um, this one, Again, is that creamy, it doesn't really have a metallic finish to it, and they're all pretty opaque, 
some of them you have to put on a little bit um, more than others, but other, all in all, really beautifully beautiful lipsticks, and I'm quite happy. They're mineral based, and yeah. So these are just some new little finds and gems that I uh, have discovered, and I'm very, very happy with them, and I'm going to further look into more independent companies. I'm going to have some blog posts um, featuring the Portland Black Lipstick Company as it, on its own, as well as swatches. And then I'm also going to talk about other independent companies that are out there in the internet and online that you can purchase that are that need to get some recognition. And um, we all know about certain ones like Lime Crime and um, maybe a little more like Sauce Box and Sugar Pill. And but there's some more other there's some other ones out there that are really good. Um, anyway, so there'll be blog posts on that as well as perhaps some videos. So thanks for watching guys and uh, leave me any comments or suggestions down below and thanks for watching and I really appreciate it. Take care guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.